So we're about to in introduce drug detection dogs into our adult uh, psychiatric units. The patrols are random, um, they're announced just before they come on and the dog walks around with the uh, handler and a staff member, a senior staff member, in the purpose of detecting any illicit drugs. So the dog will walk through the unit, slowly walk through all areas. Uh, out into the gardens as well and if there's any detection of any illicit substances the dog just simply sits there passively and waits for the handler to reward him. Prior to the actual visit, five minutes or so beforehand, we announce that there's going to be a visit going through with the dog and everyone if they're uncomfortable with that can remove themselves from the area. So this is one measure about keeping our, our patients and our, our environment safe. Um, illicit drugs have a devastating effect on people's mental health and in fact at times it can cause a mental illness. This is a real opportunity to start a conversation with our patients about any other uh, issues that they've got in their life, particularly substance abuse. Um, we can then start to put the supports in place, the interventions in place to support them and their families if required. Um, it's a real opportunity. So we've looked overseas. Um, this has been, uh, been playing out for some time in the UK and in New Zealand and we've actually learnt the lessons from those projects over there too. But ultimately it's about creating a safe environment that everyone can get well in.